Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're on a cane run today. Look who we got! Ah, oh, the cane's on now. Dare I go to this curse room to start? CTDCXC XC X6V4. There we go. Hopefully, if you want that seed, you're watching as opposed to listening, because I basically just, you know, well, 50% of U.S. Americans don't even have maps to that one right there, so. Um, that's that's my bad, pretty much exclusively. Uh, I'm not going to go to the curse room yet. We're gonna wait for a red heart to drop outside of the room because what I worry about is uh, it hasn't happened in probably like ugh, uh, it's decent at best, but it hasn't happened in like a year almost. But the worst case scenario, and it it like burned itself, it seared itself into my memory, so I never forgot about it. Two HP to start with this cane. Walk into the curse room, two pills, take one, it's bad trip, you can't leave without dying unless your other pill, like, completely saves you. So, we're gonna, we're gonna try to watch out for that. And assuming we get some form of HP on this floor, we can go inside. We can also go inside, and if there's pills, we'll just say, fuck you, we're leaving. I think I'm gonna try to maybe get into our curse room for free like this. Seemed likely, given that we were on the first, uh, series of floors, but we do need, uh... One of these to be like explosive diarrhea, so one of them is hematomesis. The Emperor card is more valuable, but if I could find the means to use hematomesis on this floor, I'd be very happy about it. If you could just poke your head up here, that's good. I'm feeling like, uh, I'm not feeling super confident about my Rebirth skills right now. Obviously, a pretty, uh, boneheaded loss on that streak. That video finally went up and people were like, Hey, you shouldn't have taken soy milk, you shouldn't have taken mom's knife, and I'm like, <laughs> You know, it's like that scene from the Hot Fuzz where he's like, oh, you have a mustache. Oh, no! You know, <laughs> I, I, I called the episode boneheaded for a reason, but... Then the that one is just a dumb mistake. The Eden loss was, uh... Was more soul-crushing because... It, there was no stupid mistake in there, it was just bad play, you know? There's a, a less easily identifiable and fixable cause for, uh... You know, positive, uh... Growth on that one, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But... Our last two runs have been fine. Pretty easy, but fine as well. There are people in that, uh, the, the streak ending episode that are like, See, this is why Mom's knife is bad. And I'm like, oh, you guys... <laughs> Even though, you know, me thinks the lady doth protest too much, you know? Uh, we, we don't have any extra bombs here, so we will go to our, uh, curse room and not take any pills. Pentagram's a great pick. I've been getting that a lot on the first floor. It's not that Mom's knife is bad. It's that I took soy milk with it. The, the soy milk pickup was definitely the dumbest thing I did there. I'm gonna try it. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna try it. This is stupid. Let's not be complete idiots. We're already at 1 HP. You're gonna attempt fate a little further. I would recommend against this. Um, I gotta admit, I'm kinda tempted to pop this Emperor card right away. On the next floor. Let's see what we get into here. It is a seller. With Curse of the Unknown. Well, we, it's not really Curse of the Unknown because we know exactly how much HP we have. It's one red heart. I think we'll we'll tough it out, and hopefully it doesn't end up actually being that tough, but, uh... Of course, you know, you are entitled to your own opinion regarding Mom's Knife, but people are like, well, if you didn't take... I realize I'm dredging up, like, ten, ten episode-old storylines here, but... Um, if you didn't take Mom's Knife, you would have had Soy Milk, Death's Touch, you know, you would have had a, a great run in that regard, which is definitely true, but I had Mom's Knife before I had Soy Milk, so it's not picking up Mom's Knife that fucked me, it's definitely taking Soy Milk and, uh... You know, ruining what was an incredibly high damage run. But anyway, I get the idea. I get the idea. We're gonna move on past that. Shit happens. One loss and 50 wins is like a 98.1% uh, win rate, so I'm not gonna sweat that streak too much. I'm very, still very proud of it, in spite of my idiotic mistake. Someone's gonna say it's 98! It's 98, Northern Line. One is 2% of 50. Excuse me! It's not... You're doing the math incorrect. Joy, you've used the one twice! It's not 1 out of 50, it's 1 out of 51, because there are 50 wins, 1 loss. Add that together, 50 plus 1, unless you're a devout follower of Terryism, I believe that that adds up to 51. Alright, Pin is a good fight for us here, we have 1.5 red hearts. Don't get hit, guaranteed deal with the devil. Do get hit, guaranteed lack of deal with the devil. But hopefully we get HP from this guy either way. If we don't get HP, we want uh, defense or survivability from the deal with the devil. Uh, nail, Satanic Bible... Ceremonial robes, nine lives, etc., etc. 
but we're not going to be too picky about it. We got speed plus range, and Judas the Shadow, which we'll take. It'll kill us instantly, and then bring us back as Dark Judas. And all of a sudden, we got a great damage increase, and didn't really suffer too much uh, in the realm of, of uh, HP. Traded our red hearts one to one for demon hearts. Now we do need keys. Keys and bombs both are incredibly valuable right now. Sorry, we don't need keys. We just need bombs. Um, if we can get like one bomb, we might be able to start a chain reaction for tinted rocks here. That, that's perfect. So we'll get butt bombs, and then you can see where we're going now. It's a lover's card, which I'll just throw down on the ground. I mean, butt bombs is not the world's greatest pickup, but it does give us a lot of potential chances for improvement here. Not super happy with spiders, but that's okay. We'll take mom's purse. I think we'll probably try to blow this up and get enough to get uh, another spirit heart out of it. We'll still have two bombs left. I've got two bombs left to get me through this. Pretty good sell or two, baby, baby. I don't know why I put on that voice. I've got something else, you know. It's like I'm a, a human sousaphone or something like that. Or like a human Susan Boyle. Uh, okay, let's go in here and there's a free guppy item, which I'm thrilled to see. And we might as well hold it. You think this is our secret room? It is not, so we will take the full spirit hard loss. And that means our secret room is probably down here. And that is a decent amount of money for sure. And that means we're right on schedule for boss rush as well as we leave this floor at roughly six minutes. I forgot that there was another bomb left over, but honestly, I still feel like we did pretty well on that floor. Um, yeah, we got three spirit hearts, which is not amazing, of course, but means we're probably not really at much risk of dying on this floor considering how interesting our damage is. And by interesting, I actually do mean good for once. Let's try to push this. I think that could have worked. I don't know if the secret room is actually on that side, but I, I'll admit, I, I thought that there was a chance there. Okay, well, these are better. What do we want here? None of these give us the ability to fly. So I think we'll take Satanic Bible and maybe save both of our other keys. We're not going to get rerolls anyway. Oh, this is great. We're not going to get rerolls anyway. So it, we really doing the whole library, take all the books out of the library and reroll them thing is a fringe play at best. We'd have to find the D6 in our item room here. I don't really want to waste keys. Like one key for one spirit heart and a, and a book that I don't want in the form of Book of Revelations right now doesn't really interest me all that much. Good, one left. Excuse me, where, where are you at? That ain't Falco and all that. Could you thank you? Good stuff. Uh, we'll get that penny to come to us. I think Satanic Bible was the right pick up there. And this is now, uh, I don't want to say unlosable, but we're getting close to the position where you would have to consider this to be nearly unlosable, I think. We've got good damage. HP looks fine. And we're going to be able to pick up an extra spirit heart every six rooms, which is the equivalent of like, you know, one to two per floor for now. Actually, probably like two to three per floor for now, and then starting uh, when we get down to the depths and even further, we're looking at maybe like three to four. And that's without any other shop augmentations, but we'll see. Box gives us uh, our second trinket. Speed down is not that bad, all things considered. We've already had a, a speed upgrade pill and growth hormone, so it's not a big loss there. Uh, we'll check out what should be our shop. Shop contains nothing of inherent value. I'm going to be way ahead of schedule here. Uh, well, maybe I've, I've uh, spoken too soon, because we do not know where the heck our item room is. <clears throat> but it's okay either way. Still continue to gain HP here. Uh, if possible, oh great. It's a good time for this message to show up on Skype. Maybe you could stop typing your irrelevancy not, not that the person who's sending me the message is irrelevant, just that the message as it's arriving right now is not relevant. It's not urgent. You're going to make me sign out, and Skype is having login issues right now. I won't be able to sign back in. Uh, I'm going to be going to be quite salty if that indeed ends up being the case. This is like, you know, you're waiting for a call from your doctor or something like that, and somebody calls you and is like, hey, want to come to my birthday party? My name is, you know, 
Main Street Auto Body Repairs, and we'll give you 15% off. You're like, you know, this phone is for official business only right now. Um, okay. One more room of value. Then we can go back and get that battery charge, but I'm a little lazy about that, and also I think there's a, some validity to my laziness for once because of the fact that we have... Uh... Oh, it actually worked. There's some validity to my laziness because of the... Uh... Curse of the Lost, so I sort of would rather just not get the battery charge right now and just go to these rooms first. We probably will end up having a suboptimal play as a result of it, but I don't want to backtrack just to prove that I know how to do it, you know? This curse room ended up being pretty garbage, but that's okay. Swallowed Penny, you know, quietly kind of working out really well for us. It's, it's actually hooked us up with uh, at least... 10 to 15 cents over the two floors that we've had it so floor so so floor so far so I'm uh, happy with that we'll go back now's our time to leave this floor I think I don't really care about that other room up there there was stuff down here you know what let's do it just in case we're a little bit ahead of schedule this gives us a chance to push it even further I hate this room I wish that I had not done this I immediately regret my decision to come down here We actually might be able to get a legitimate charge now. You know what? We will be able to get a legitimate charge. It's going to slow us down by maybe like 30 seconds or so. But we got a speed upgrade, so that might be worth it. And then we'll come back here and do our mob trap room, and then we'll go get the battery charge. And this is like super not worth it, but whatever. It's all worth it for the two extra demon hearts we're going to get. One full extra demon heart that would not have existed if I had not... Uh, done this. Which is not me saying I'm good, it's quite the opposite, rather me saying I almost squandered it by just leaving this floor too, uh, too soon. But I think I've, you know, every time I, like, lose a run for stupid reasons, and I'm referring more to the e Eve run than the, uh, the Eden run, I'm like, let's get back to what works, you know, get back to best practices. When it comes down to it, Isaac is kind of like, a Rebirth at least, is kind of like a flow chart. And as long as you are doing the, uh, it's down here, I think. As long as you're doing the best practice in, like, every room and you dodge with relative acumen, you're going to be fine. Huge acumen is what I meant to say there, but... Uh, I'm, I'm guilty of cutting the corner a little bit sometimes. Uh, as a son, we want to stick with the Emperor card here. I'm guilty of cutting corners sometimes in the interest of playing a little faster. We have lost that luxury as a result of our recent losses, so it's better for us to just... Stick with what works. And again, we're going to be a little bit slower now. But boss rush is not uh, is not an urgent concern. It's not an urgent, urgent emergency. If we're going to quote a different foreigner song for the first time. That's not a, a song by a foreigner, by the way. It's not me using a Trumpism, for example. Not to get political. Rather, I'm simply saying... Uh, you know, there's a bit, there's an American rock band called Foreigner. They did the one... Hot bombs, check it and see... You've seen this in the Hot Pockets commercials on TV. Hot... No, I'm sorry, that one's just Hot Pockets. Check it and see. I've got molten lava inside me. Along with two cheeses and pepperoni. Cause I'm Hot Pockets, Hot Pockets. Man, I really like want to go to those rooms and want to open those chests at some point. Mysterious Liquid, it is okay. Enemies that are stuck on the ground make it easy for us to get some value out of it, but mostly we'd be looking for other stuff, but hey, a little extra damage never hurt anybody. And we're doing fine in every other regard, so we might as well take uh, the 9 volt, but we should do one more room before we do that. Didn't have to be the big room, but we'd probably have to do it at some point anyway. We're safe. I don't know why I did that voice. We're safe. Okay, now, uh, pop this, come back, get the 9 volt, pop this. We probably don't need the battery charge. That's not even avoiding best practices there. That's just like, save our money for the next floor. Maybe we'll be able to buy something more important or more valuable. Probably didn't deserve to dodge out of the way of that. This guy may drop a battery charge, uh, which is great, because I took half a heart getting him to drop the battery charge on the walkway, so... Uh, I guess I'll consider that a win. This guy did not drop a battery charge. And that's okay, too. 
Oh, that was bad. Now, I haven't even thought about it, really, because we're already doing so well, but uh, we should probably get a deal with the devil here. This is uh, Necropolis. No, sorry. This is uh, Cellar t <laughs> Catacombs 2. One of those ones. Health up. That's fine. Um, yeah, so we should get a deal with the devil here. We've got something like, with Pentagram, we've got like a 100% chance times 0.75. You can probably do the math on that one. So I'm thinking we got like a 3 and 4 chance here. That's really good news. Now we gotta burn off our Krampus penalty at some point, but uh, assuming that happens on this floor, we could at least get Lump of Coal. Either way, we're gonna hopefully just... We gotta get the chance to get rid of it first, I guess is what I'm thinking of. Let's just get the deal with the devil first. We didn't get it. That's really disappointing, actually. We got a health down pill. We'll stick with the Emperor card, even though the health down pill could become a health upgrade. The the health up is less valuable than the Emperor. And we're pretty much on schedule for boss rush. We cut off maybe like another 45 seconds there we didn't have to spend. And got lucky that our rooms were in uh, the exact path they needed to be for us to get to the boss. Now... Go fast. Oh, wow. I call bullshit on that. It really seemed like those uh, turrets predicted that I was about to run past them. They started moving before uh, I had even aggroed them. At least before I'd aggroed them on, like, that vertical vector. Which is a flippin' sweet iOS game. Used to be exclusive to Ouya. I just made it up. It doesn't exist. Uh, we will take this. And lots of eternal hearts. The game's been very kind so far. I have no real reason to use Satanic Bible right now. Now I do. I guess we should always be replacing our Spirit Hearts with Black Hearts just because they have offensive value. We might as well lose our Spirit Heart first and then replace it with a Black Heart, I guess. Uh, I don't I don't think it matters that much. I think it's it's splitting hairs. It's not even min-maxing. It's just... Um, it, well, let's put it this way. It's cost-prohibitive min-maxing. Sounds like something you could do. Like, I want to form, like, a tech startup. Here at uh, Tachyon Industries, we specialize in cost-prohibitive min-maxing. We cost-prohibitively min-max things so you don't have to. Using digital synergy and uh, marketing-focused integrated solutions, we worry about it so you don't have to. Well, that's uh, just a random spirit heart, isn't it? If we're going to go to the secret room anyway, we might as well place that bomb so that we can get a little bit of extra damage out of our... Uh, Butt bombs here. Well, two of the same champion. I didn't even notice. Oh, no, that one's flies. The other one was not flies. 48 hour energy. Kind of hilarious. Telepills. Um, fine, but not really what I'm going for. Yeah, hit me again. Hit me again and see what happens. You won't be, you won't be pleased you did. Shoot, coward. You're only going to kill a man. Okay, we're back. Dinosaur story. Uh, we might as well. Now we've got all black hearts. What else do we have in here? Explosive diarrhea. Kind of what I was looking for, to be honest with you, to see if we can maybe get magic mush out of that. Uh, we got Emperor. Blow this up. Still sort of on schedule. The map is gonna help. If I could actually purchase it. And we will go to our item room. Our item room may help. Taurus showing up all the time lately. Small speed downgrade or market speed downgrade. With uh, some obvious benefits associated with it as well. Now let's fight our boss here. We can always use the Emperor card to get into the boss fight in time for boss rush. But it's it's a poor idea. Oh, this is not helping at all. Taurus, this is encouraging for most rooms. But what this means is that Taurus is going to be going off very, very quickly. So I can use, uh, use that to my advantage on a lot of these rooms. That just was one right there that didn't really make any sense. Okay. Now, move around as fast as you can. Get Taurus going. There we go. All right. Now get in there. Drop a butt bomb. Aggro this guy so he doesn't freak out and leave. And not quite the damage that I was hoping for, but that's okay. We're almost done here. We really have like a 100%, maybe even like a 130% chance of a deal with the devil on this floor. So we get HP, which we will take, even though it'll push half a demon heart away, and then we'll go in here, and we shouldn't have taken it, but we will take both of these, because why not? Now we've got the ability to fly. Brother Bobby was just an added bonus that it didn't really matter to not have it, so why not have it? And boss rush is going to be a little bit 
out of our grasp, I think, unless we get really, really lucky um, with our with our room layouts here. I'm hoping for another deal with the devil here. This will be oh whoa 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 battery charge. That's what I'm looking for. Just pop that right away. Um, boss room. We got to choose one of these paths. That's not very smart of me. Got to choose one of these paths. I really would not expect it to to work out for us here, especially because we probably need like a second teleport card. I don't know how we're gonna do that. And I feel like Taurus may indeed be slowing us down somewhat. Uh, da, da, da. I'm so stupid. I tried to like get around it, but it was like, no, uh, you going? Oh no, I'm going this way. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, so you go left, I'll go right. Wait a minute. Your left is my right. Like I just couldn't get. A, it was like the ultimate Canadian tango there. Canadian Tango, of course, when uh, you move out of the way to let someone uh, pass by you in the hall, but they move the exact same way, and you just end up doing that dance over and over. Come on, baby, don't you do more than dance. It's the Canada's Tango, Canada's Tango. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to worry about Boss Rush, which is my way of saying, of course I'm going to worry about Boss Rush. You know me. Same old NL. Uh, but, uh... I'm gonna try to not worry about boss rush. I'm not gonna get it, so I should stop worry, wasting my time worrying about uh, getting there, and thus probably causing myself to take more damage than it's worth. But I'll admit, if we let's throw some bombs down, because if we can get a teleport card, and this is the right way, we could still make this happen. But if this is not the right way, we can't. It is the right way. Oh, put a bomb down. One teleport card here saves us a lot of heartache. Is it worth it? Ah, we're skipping the item room and the shop. We got a chariot card. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I'm gonna give it a try at least. I know this might seem like a stupid mistake, but really, I, I did do the the value proposition in my head. I was like, what's what's better? Well, of course, in order for it to actually work, we need to like beat mom in time. But uh, um, I did the value proposition in my head. What's what's better? A chance of greed but a shop, and an item room that we won't be able to reroll, or our choice of like four items on the boss rush. And the answer is, if you if you have an answer for that, you're a goddamn liar. Because it, it comes down to, uh, you know, variability. I kind of think we should start taking damage in order to, to speed up the fight. I hate to do this, but I think this is the only way we get into that fucking room. Uh, so we'll take this. Inside of here, we get Dark Bum. It's gonna be hard to argue that that was not worth it, I think. Um, obviously, we skipped out on an item room, and I don't know what it was, and we skipped out on a shop, and I don't know what was in that shop, but we got Dark Bum out of it. We did spend some spirit hearts as well, like, there's some demon hearts, I can't dispute that. I don't know if the Ankh is worth it. I mean, it's, it's definitely worth it on paper, but it's a time investment, so I think I'm gonna skip it for now. And we're just gonna be looking for... Red hearts? Uh, of course, I would expect to get our uh, Satanic Bible charged up without too much trouble here and, and get back to full HP relatively quickly. And we will go to our curse room because we still do have an outside shot of becoming Guppy. No deal with the devil on the last floor, so we should have a good chance on this floor. Oh, yeah. Get in? Well, we were going to get in there for free anyway, I suppose. Two pills. One, explosive diarrhea. The other, 48-hour energy. Actually fantastic for us. And there's a spirit heart. So we're definitely going to be back at full HP. No question about that. Taurus should be starting any second now. There we go. I kind of don't love Taurus, but I, I can't deny that it is working for us as well. And we're going to be like way above full HP, actually. And there we go. Uh, well, we could be way above full HP if we wanted to, I guess, but... I'm just going to earn my battery charge normally because I don't think we're going to need to backtrack in order to still stay at full HP to end this floor. And after that, everything's a moot point. So, really hoping for a, a higher damage deal with the devil here. That's really the only thing that's kind of even close to pissing me off about this run is that we've got uh, really good uh, defense damage. Even though we have Dark Judas, it leaves a little bit to be desired. It's not awful, but it's uh, it's not great. Something like ramming speed would be awesome, actually, to make Taurus a little bit more valuable. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to clutch at straws a little bit. This is a pretty good run. This is obviously like a Mr. Fred fight here or something. Yeah, there you go. Do a little move. Make a little love. 
get down tonight. Oh, that was very poor damage on my behalf, but life goes on. And yeah, Mr. Fred. Telepills. Not that interested. 48 hour energy. Very useful for the future. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, now if I can get you guys in the middle here, like a Jimmy Eat World song, that would be ideal for me. And we've already killed one Fallen. This is perfect. To me, it looks like the other one is like more than halfway dead, but I'm, I'm guessing we've got some kind of weird health bar glitch or something going on right here. And that may do... I uh, didn't quite do it, but it almost did it. That's not surprising to me. We get Demon Baby, which is not amazing, but we'll pop this and get back to full HP. And not Krampus, because I really don't need what you're selling. Okay, it's Krampus, of course. Well, if you give me a lump of coal, I'll be happy with it, but I'll be happy-ish with it, at least. Well, <laughs> you can't... Win them all, I guess. That's fine. At least we still have the map. Okay, so we will enter here, obviously. And Pandora's box in the womb gives us the Bible. But I was not, there's no way I'm getting rid of uh, Satanic Bible at this point. So we'll leave, use Satanic Bible. And we're already one sixth of the way towards our next charge. This is gonna be a long floor. This is like your completely suboptimal, non ideal kind of floor. In these situations, we have uh, pretty much just a linear straight shot to the boss fight. Which is normally, you might consider that good, except for the fact that it's going to take us, you know, 15 minutes to do it because there's a ton of rooms on the way. We'll get Dark Bomb to pick up everything that he can pick up. And empty rooms are going to help us out here. Like, I don't think we have much of a chance of losing. We're kind of just riding, we're, we're, we're riding downhill right now, I guess is what I'm trying to say. If you were on a bicycle... You know, we, we can take our, our feet off the pedals a little bit. You still gotta steer, or you're gonna hit a tree. But uh, we, we don't have to pedal as much. We can kind of relax. I think I told the story on the show before. But I was downtown. Uh, this is probably like two months ago now. There was a guy... Downtown Vancouver, by the way, is... I know Canada has a reputation for being quaint. Uh, hey, there's only 35 million people in the whole country. You know, it's, it's fairly small for... A, it's, it's incredibly small for a country of its geographical size. But anyway... Vancouver is, is a metropolis, you know, it has uh, a few million people in a relatively tight area uh, and downtown Vancouver is bustling. Traffic jams, accidents, people running out into the street, you know, shaking their hands in the air and shouting it's earthquake time. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to stigmatize mental illness, I'm just saying this kind of stuff does happen all, all the time. It's a regular occurrence in downtown Vancouver. There was a guy driving his bike in the in in traffic which is what you do you know there, there's no bike lanes most of the places in downtown Vancouver I think but he had no hands on the handlebars it one hand was texting and his other hand was smoking a cigarette and I was like I have just witnessed a dead man he's driving his bike in a downtown like city center at rush hour no hands on the handlebars smoking a cigarette and texting this is the dream yeah of course he had headphones in as well because i mean at that point it's like you don't need to hear the traffic to know that you are going to die while you're out there but i hope that guy is doing all right i actually i hope that guy got in an accident that knocked him off his bicycle and maybe he skinned his knee but didn't actually get injured i wouldn't i would never wish like physical injury on anybody but that guy needs to he needs to, like, swerve accidentally and then, you know, bend his front tire or something like that. To let it, to be like, hey, dummy, you know, like, maybe put one hand on the handlebar. You're gonna get in an accident and, and you're gonna die. And you're gonna, like, fucking traumatize the person who ends up running over your skull like a freaking crushed watermelon, man. It's not like it's about that person, it's more that you're gonna die, but still, it's just like, don't be an idiot. That goes to, if you're, if you're one of the 0.03% of people watching this who drive their bike in a downtown city center, smoking a cigarette and texting at the same time with no hands on the handlebars, um, don't, don't fucking do that, man. This, sh this should not be a PSA that needs to exist. That's not, that's not gonna get you laid. That's gonna get you laid to fucking rest. As a PSA, that, this is the problem with after school specials and stuff like that. They don't get to the root of the subject. They always go, it's, oh. Smoking doesn't make you cool. Hey, I'm not saying that it does or it doesn't. But what I'm saying is people aren't doing it because it's cool. People are doing it for the the other part of the coolness factor, which is that it's gonna get you laid, man. 
What you need, if you wanted to do uh, like an effective ad, you would get like um, Kate Upton from the most famous probably for her Game of War ads, of course, and then. Um, she would be like about to sleep with a high school aged, but 18 because we don't want to be weird, um, person. And then she'd see like a pack of cigarettes on his desk or something and be like, You smoke? I'm out of here, loser. Plus your dick is small. Cigarettes, don't smoke. And then people would be like, oh shit, if I smoke, Kate Upton's not going to sleep with me. Again, I'm not saying that this is, um, that this is uh, something that I would like to see on TV. I'm just saying if you're going to... Pull out the smoking's not cool angle. You should really go all in to like what the root of the, the problem is. Did you open the door? You did not open the door. Now I'm like, do I fight this guy or do I just back it up? Like if you're gonna if you're gonna go full after school special on these PSAs, you gotta take it a step further. I mean there's like anti-weed PSAs that aired in, in Canada like two years ago and it's like, did you know smoking a, a marijuana cigarette is the equivalent of of like, or, sorry, no, the, here's the, what the actual ad was. And this is not me exaggerating. It was, did you know marijuana today is 10 times stronger than it was in the 1970s? And I have to imagine that that ad kind of backfired on them. I could totally see it like a 16 year old who's on the fence being like, shit, man, it sounds like we're in a, a THC golden age. I gotta get in on the ground floor. I've been missing out. Like, you, it's such, it's so tone deaf. But you need, like, a 19-year-old doing the PSA to dissuade 16-year-olds from doing this. They, it's like they've never been to, uh, to high school themselves or something. I don't, I don't get it, man. Or they're, they're too far out. Anyway, you get the idea. This is why I should work in marketing. Um, I guess some people would say I already do. Hematomesis. I will take it. I got to... Feel like our HP is probably dwindling a little bit here. That's not gonna help. Oh, that might though. Yeah, okay. Um, this is not the right way. So, I'm saving Hematomesis. I'm gonna try to use it on our second secret room. You never know what kind of majesty it may impart upon us. Let's not take any dumb damage here. Any more dumb damage, at least. Gotta admit. Taurus damage not quite holding it down, but strange uh, or mysterious liquid is going to be great for us here. Oh, come on. This is alright. I don't want to do this room. So we're just going to get out. I can't believe I only got two trinkets on this whole run, by the way. That is remarkable to me. I got Mom's purse and I was like, there's so many great trinkets I can get. Nope. There are only two trinkets. The matchstick and swallowed penny. Which ones do you want? Both of them? Alright, have a good life. That is not our second secret room. That's very disappointing. I don't know what I'm going to do with this hematomesis pill now. Okay, well, we do have a brief moment of respite. Oh, that's such terrible damage. I'm actually a little frightened, I've got to admit. I don't know how much damage I've taken on this floor, but I haven't gained very much HP. If I end up squandering this one... I mean, it's not like my damage... Oh, lordy. It's not like my damage has been out of control. But at the same time, this should be very winnable. Even though we have kind of... Oh, my lord, again. Even though we have kind of stagnated since... Uh, since picking up Judas' Shadow, we haven't really gotten that much stronger. Oh, we, that's not totally fair, because we did get uh, Lord of the Pit. I can't believe I got hit there and lived. Like, now I'm at the point where I'm like, if I get hit again, I'm probably going to die. But I couldn't dodge there because of the, the beams of light. So, uh, all we can hope for, I guess, is to live to the next floor. And then we don't, we might not even have to get carried. I might be exaggerating our, our situation right now. I, I honestly don't know. Should have kept a little bit of a mental uh, ledger for that. It would be, it would be awful to lose this run. I was okay with standing there. <laughs> Did get a little, oh my god, did get a little touch and go though. Not again! No, 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 no. That's, this is not good. We are losing way more HP than we can afford to. And we're not going to be doing any damage at all on the chest to enemies. So we got to like seriously nut up here because this is a disaster. At least we're going to make it to the chest, but I took like six hits on the final room there. That's ridiculous. We're probably at like one or two hearts. We were at one heart. My god. Uh, that's bad. That's gonna give us another hit of survivability. 
Yeah, this is terrible. Um, we, we obviously have to take this all. Uh, what we can, anyway. And if I was the boss, I would be probably right then up. So we're going to use this. Then we're going to use Satanic Bible. This means we can take one hit. We got 99 butt bombs. We really, really cannot afford to get hit on these rooms. Like, the, okay, we should really be using bombs way more often as well. Like, these rooms are too easy. We need to get a Satanic Bible charge as soon as possible. Any extra red hearts are also very valuable. Secret room. This room is also a room we can't afford to take damage on. You might be saying every room's a room we can't afford to take damage on. That's true, but I prefer to be realistic. There are some rooms it's going to be tough to avoid damage on. We can just kind of hang out in the corners for some of these and, and do as much damage as possible with our butt bombs, but... The Devil, that's a good card. It's a very good card indeed. So we're going to just throw some bombs down here because we can. Maybe it'll hit the, the haunt, maybe it won't. That's terrible damage. I, I was focusing way too much on the bombs. Never should have found myself in that position. Still got two hits. That's not our secret room. Okay, I, I gotta think that this is where we want to be using the devil. It's right up here. And we want to see if maybe there's like a super gluttony that we can kill. Or we could try to get nine lives. But uh, definitely, uh, there is a super gluttony. The gluttony has got to... The gluttony has got to be the one that we shoot for. As much as I would love the opportunity to get nine lives, we gotta go for the gluttony because of the, uh, the dark bum. And then we still gotta beat Blue Baby, which with our damage, I'm not really an enormous fan of, but this is a one guaranteed payout, at best. It is a spirit heart, thankfully, so, like, somebody up there is looking out for us, I guess. Whew, we never should have been in this situation, but, uh, but we are. We are, we are. In this situation, it's you gotta admit, it sort of works. As much as you wish it didn't. Whoa, okay, that one, the low lobs are so annoying. I'm gonna be so mad if I look at the comments and then there's like uh, the holy mantle in that last item room or something like that. And we've gone in completely the wrong direction, but luckily for us, we have strengthened ourselves as a result. Now, I don't think this is gonna be the way to the boss. I'll just go ahead and say that right off the bat. I don't believe that this will be the way to the boss. However, it could be the way to the boss. And as a result, uh, I would very much like the opportunity to try it out. Because we've already done like 90% of our due diligence here anyway. So there goes our, uh, our spirit heart. How are none of you dead? Like, this is what's getting me now. My brain is like full on the Matrix mode right now. Even our bombs are not that good. Like, a Mr. Mega pickup would be so nice. This is not the right way. Okay, so we know that our boss fight is gonna be this way, then. This way. And we could use the Game Kid to clear out one easy room. Oh, this is, like, this is obvious. We obviously kill Gluttony last. And we found our secret room, which is also pretty big. Okay, come on. Give me a spirit art. This could be a big swing for us from an HP perspective. Even if it's just a large drop, that's fine as well. Now, this is, again, one guaranteed payout, and that's it. And it is a spirit heart. Inside of our secret room, we get a little bit of money. We'll blow this guy up because we can. Okay. On to the next room. Theoretically, this one should be easy as well. And it was... Theoretically, this one should be easy as well. We're, we're kind of lucking out. We haven't seen our adversary room. We have seen uh, double double gates. And that's frustrating, but... If we never have to see double, uh, double cage or double adversary, then I'm extremely pleased with the way this run looks. There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Just give me one more guaranteed payout for Dark Bomb, baby. This is what I'm here for. Oh, that is exactly one more guaranteed payout for Dark Bomb. And it's a Spirit Heart. Life is good. Alright. Double wi uh, Wretched. Double Wicked? No, double... It's Wretched, right? 
I know I should look at the boss uh, splash screens from time to time. All this being said, it would be awesome to find a second secret room right here. We do have hematomesis. There we go. And... Yes, we'll use hematomesis and effectively this gives us a few more hits. So this is still not guaranteed because I took so much damage on the Isaac fight that I, I wouldn't, you know, write off a loss here at all. With 99 bombs, we will be placing them out of control though. We're going to be putting them down all the time. You know, at the very least, just like drop one in the corner. It's better if you can get hit, get him hit with the explosion, but um, if you can at least drop some in the corner to do some bonus damage, that's better than not doing anything. Like, we just, just drop them at all available moments. Diablo 2. Now, I think we're going to win here. I honestly do think we deserve to win here, which may be a debatable uh, assumption, but I feel like we sort of stalled out and still managed to, you know, pilot this to, uh, you know, a, a controlled landing here, which I, I don't know anything about aviation, but any, any landing you walk away from is a good one, right? And we are going to win this. We just need to not take three hits, which seems conceivable. And we're good. Okay, not not scary at all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Who?